Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Pirate Isle. Clutch Cargo and company, upon receiving a telegram, set out in a small ocean-going craft bound for the Galapagos Islands. A strong, even wind steadily pushes their craft. Gee, Clutch, this is sure a swell trip. And look at Paddlefoot. <laughs> He's sure enjoying himself. Nothing like an ocean voyage to rest a fellow. Who sent that telegram asking us to come, Clutch? That's sort of a mystery, Spinner. It was from someone who has read my adventure logbook. Whoever said it said that I would be interested in some strange things in the Galapagos Islands. Do you know anything about these galloping ghost islands? <laughs> Not galloping ghosts, Spinner. Galapagos Islands. Yes, I know quite a bit about them. The Galapagos Islands were once infested with pirates who used them as a base for raiding plate ships of the Spanish main. You mean real pirates? Very real. They raided the ship that carried all the gold and silver cups and plates and coins. So they called it a plate ship. But, but do you think pirates still stay there? Oh, no. That was in the olden days of wooden ships and iron men. Wow! Thank goodness! Wow, wow. Hey, there's an island. Do you suppose that's it? Could be, Spinner. One of the islands, anyway. The Galapagos group is made up of many islands. Here's the old chart we brought. Maybe we can tell by this. Hmm. Uh, our present position would be about here. Look! There's a tiny island right close by. Could that be it? No doubt about it. And look at the name of it. Bloody Bones Atoll. Ah! Oh, sounds awful spooky. Here's a note on this old chart to all seafaring men. Beware of the Bloody Bones Atoll. Clutch! Look! The wind! It stopped blowing! You're right, Spinner. But we're still moving toward that island. It's some kind of strange ocean current. The tide's changing and the current keeps pulling us in. We'll be wrecked on those rocks. Just steer clear of the white water, Spinner. And I think we'll be okay. We've got to find a cove and drop anchor until the tide changes. Oh, what's this? Must be pirates. Pirates? In this day and age? Paddlefoot sees something. What the? That's a pirate ship. How'd it get way up there? Seems awful high. Must have washed up there during a storm. A uh high -huh, below. Strange ship approaching off the port below. Scuttle the scuppers. Man the poop deck. Hoist the Jolly Roger. I did. I am, and it's there, sir. Well, man the cannon. Blow them to bits. At last, a ship we can loot. After all these years. Ready for action, sir. There's a lot going on up there, Clutch. Do you suppose they're real pirates? They may be, Spinner. Sending us that telegram may have led us right into their trap. Fire! Clutch and company hit with cannon fire. How will they survive? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Pirate Isle. You remember last time, Clutch and company were headed for the Galapagos Islands in search of material for Clutch's adventure logbook. As they neared the tiny island, Bloody Bones Atoll, strange things began to happen. Spinner spotted a pirate ship high above. Suddenly, fire! Sweeping us right past them. Ah! Ah, Pistons. We moved out of range. They can't hit us. Maybe they 
cans. And maybe they can. We don't know what's ahead. Looks like we're going into a river, Clutch. Where do you suppose it'll take us? I have no idea, Spinner. But we'll soon find out. As Clutch and company drift into the narrow water passage, on the deck of the pirate ship... You blundering idiot! You clean missed every bloomin' shot! I ought to call you Cabbage Head instead of Cabin Head. I'm sorry I ever shanghaied you off that shrimp boat. But, but sir, I n never asked for this pirate job. I... Quiet before I keel haul that scrawny carcass and feed you to the sharks. Where's Sam? There's Sam. What do you want, Pappy? Some meddlers snooping around our islands. Oh, I wish they'd take your old island. Who wants it but you? Come now, child. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. But, Pappy, I want to get out and see the world. And be somebody. But we are somebody. Pirates, that's what. Your grandfather and his grandfather before him were somebody. Pirates, that's who. But, Pappy, that was during the old days. Why, there hasn't been a strange ship pass here in two years. Until today. And then we didn't seek it. And I'm glad. So there. We'll keep trying until we do. Come on, Ezra. We've got work to do. Clutch and company proceed through the narrow channel. This island is bigger than you think. Hannaford must see something. He sees something, all right. Look. Well, I'll be. Wow, look at that. Dozens of ships. What are they for? It's a graveyard of old ships. So this is what became of treasure ships after pirates finished with them. And this is what the telegram meant. Something strange. Clutch, I'm scared. It's so, so quiet and spooky. Nothing to be afraid of, Spinner. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's lower the dinghy and go aboard one of them. Be careful. These old planks are rotten. Quiet with them oars, you lubber. If we take them alive, you'll have a full crew and I can go back to my shrimp boat, huh, Captain? Uh, sir? Uh, uh, sir? Quiet, you, and mind your rowing. Boy, look at this old cannon. Do you suppose it works? That's hard to say, Spinner. Look at those powder kegs <laughs> and cannonballs. And real pirate swords and pistols. We'll give them a pretty good show if we have to. Just reach for the sky, slow like. Will Clutch and Company have to put up a real pirate fight? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Pirate Isle. You remember last time, Clutch and Company were shot at and hit. After recovering, they decided to drift into the narrow little inlet. Meanwhile, Captain Jolly and his helper Ezra put out in a small rowboat to investigate the intruders. Clutch and Company boarded an old frigate and found pirate weapons. We'll give them a pretty good show if we have to. Just reach for the sky slow like. There now, hold it. Search him, Ezra. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, boy, Clutch. That was quick thinking. Hurry, Spinner. Let's get out of here. This place is loaded with pirates. We'll take to the water and swim for shore. You blithering idiot! You never do anything right. Oh, dear, I wish I was back on my shrimp boat. Oh, stop sniveling and let's go after those treacherous snoopers. Here come those two that jumped us, and they're heavily armed. Gee, Clutch, what are we going to do? Stay under cover until we find out what the odds are. <laughs> Look, Captain, there's their tracks. Aha! Those blighters will rule the day they tried to mutiny on old Captain Jolly. On the double, Ezra! Follow that trail! Stay down behind the foliage, Spinner. We mustn't let them spot us. Where are we going, Clutch? We're heading back to their lookout at the head of the channel. Look, Clutch! Those two pirates have found our trail. Oh, no. I... Hurry, Spinner. We've got to shake them. Clutch, look! Giant turtles. We're in luck, Spinner. There's the way to escape those pirates. What do you mean, Clutch? We'll ride those turtles. 
But Clutch, those turtles are awfully slow. We can run a lot faster than them. I know. But riding them, we won't leave any tracks. Gosh, Clutch, I didn't think of that. Well, come on. Hop aboard. Gee, these old fellows are real gentle. Yeah, Spinner. They make fine pets. We're gaining on them, Captain. Those tracks are still warm. What's this? Their tracks suddenly disappeared. Huh? Why? Why, they simply vanished in the air. I don't get it. There's nothing but turtle tracks from here on. They must be hiding. Come on, we'll search the bushes. How much farther, Clutch? We're almost there. I can see the ship's mast. We gave those pirates the slip all right. I don't see a sign of them. We lost them all right. Get down, Spinner. I think we'd better walk from here on. Thanks a lot for the ride, old fella. Wow, wow. See anybody, Spinner? Not a soul. Looks like everybody's gone. Let's take a closer look. No one in here. What's behind that door? Let's take a look. This looks like a jail, Clutch. That's exactly what it is, Spinner. Only on a ship, it's called the brig. Gosh, those bars look awfully strong. I need to be locked up in here. Me too. They made these things extra strong in the old days. That's right, matey. They made these cages escape-proof in my grandpappy's day. Wow! To suddenly find yourself behind locked bars. What can they do? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Pirate Isle. You remember last time Clutch and Company escaped Captain Jolly and Ezra. In order to travel overland, they rode giant turtles so their tracks wouldn't show. Upon reaching the pirate ship, Spinner found a door. Further investigation proved it to be a jail. Now, my hearties. I have a little bargain to make with you. Locked up like this, lady, we're not in much of a position to bargain. I know. But with this key, I could let you out before Pappy gets back. So that puts me in a fine bargaining position. OK, miss. What do you propose? Simply this. If I let you out and help you escape this island, you'll take me with you. Gee, Clutch, let's do it. What do we got to lose? Wow, wow. But you said one of these pirates is your Pappy. Why go away and leave him? I can't stand this pirate business, and I can't persuade Pappy to give it up. So I'll just have to leave without him. Golly! I thought a pirate's life was fun and full of excitement. It is in the storybooks, maybe. But here, it's lonesome and boring. And I want to get out and go to school and be somebody. Well, now, that sounds reasonable enough, Miss, uh, Miss, uh... Just call me Sam. Okay, Sam. Just let us get out of here, and we'll help you all you can. The first thing we'd better do is disable these guns. If we don't, they're liable to blast us as we come out of the channel. Why not just throw all the gunpowder over the cliff, Clutch? Cannon won't fire without gunpowder. By golly, that's a great idea, Sam. Let's get to work. Meanwhile, Captain Jolly and Ezra, his henchmen, continue their search for Clutch and his pals. See any signs, Ezra? Nope. But if we get up on one of those tall rocks over there, we could get a view of most of the island. Blast it, Ezra Cabinhead. You should have thought of that in the first place. Clutch and company soon have disposed of the gunpowder and are on their way back to their boat. Look sharp, everybody. We wouldn't want to run into Captain Jolly and Ezra. Pappy wouldn't like it if he saw us trying to sneak off this island. And when Pappy doesn't like something, he gets madder than a killer whale. <laughs> Look, Clutch. Isn't that them? It sure is, Spinner. It's a good thing you spotted them. They've got a clear view of the trail from here down to the ship's graveyard. How will we ever get past them? If we could only disguise ourselves some way. There's nothing around here as big as people, except turtles. Turtles? That's it. Do you know where we can find some giant turtle shells, Sam? There's some back at our ship. We use them for bathtubs. We're in luck. Come on, let's go back to the ship and get those turtle shells. Mm -hmm. 
Ezra. Nary a thing, Captain. What's that moving down there? That's only a herd of turtles, Captain. Take it easy, everybody. Try to act like a turtle. Here we are, back at the harbor. We'll make a run for our schooner in the captain's dinghy and get underway. Hey, Clutch! Our schooner! It's gone! It isn't <laughs> gone, Spinner. It's sunk. Oh, no! What do we do now, Clutch? I don't know, Spinner. With their schooner sunk, how will Clutch and company ever get back to civilization? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Pirate Isle. You remember last time, Clutch Cargo and company met a beautiful pirate girl named Sam. They promised to help her escape the island. In turn, she helped them by disguising them as giant turtles. Arriving at the water's edge, they found their schooner had been sunk. The captain must have sunk it so we couldn't get away. What do we do now, Clutch? I don't know, Spinner. Unless we could use one of those old ships. That Corvette be worthy, Clutch. And if we hurry, we can ride the tide as it goes out the channel. Captain, look down there. It's them, and they've captured Sam. They're rowing away in our dinghy. Ho oh, ho! They won't get far in a scuttled schooner. But, boss, they're boarding that old derelict Corvette. Well, shiver me timbers. I do believe they're going to try and sail her away. Come on, my hearty. We gotta stop them. Hoist the mainsail. <laughs> Run up the mizzen. They're getting underway. How are we going to stop them? We'll take one of the ships and overhaul them. They took our dinghy. How are we going to get out there? Get them turtle shells. We'll paddle out. Cut loose the mooring line. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, no. Here come the pirates. Alas, you lover! Hoist the jib! Hoist the Jolly Roger! Looks like they're coming after us. That ship's got more sails and bigger guns than we have. We're in for it, mates. surrender. If they don't, let them have it. Ahoy there, you lovers! Come about and surrender, or we'll blast you to bits! I'll count to three. If you don't surrender by then, we start firing. One. Maybe we'd better surrender, Clutch. Two! Maybe their guns won't even fire. Happy! Don't you dare fire on us! Oh, blast that tub from stem to stern. Oh, no. My own daughter has joined the mutiny. What now, Captain? Blast away, Ezra. Fire! Ezra, cabin head, you're the worst shot on the seven seas. Okay, Pappy, you ask for it. All hands to the pumps, we're sinking! Help, we surrender! Good shooting, Sam. Who taught you? My grandpappy. He was the fastest cannon on the Spanish main. I have a feeling Captain Johnny and Ezra's pirate days are over. You and Sam stand by to haul him aboard. Soon, Clutch and company are on their way home under full sail. What are we going to do about Ezra and the captain when we get back, Clutch? Oh, Ezra plans to go back to his old job on the shrimp boat. And as for Captain Jolly, 
Sam has plans for him. <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Pirate Isle. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.